Hello, I'm going to demonstrate uh, how the magnetic field works using nothing more than this simple box and this simple ball here. Now, uh, the action of the magnetic field is depicted uh, by this picture. And uh, what you see here is a beam, an electron beam. And when you place the magnet near it, it deflects the beam like downward, okay? So no matter what you heard about magnetic fields, this is the fundamental uh, property of a magnetic field, which is to be able to deflect the path of electrons. So I am going to demonstrate that with my little simple setup here by showing that. So I take my little ball here, and the action of the magnetic field is like this uh, diagonal board I have in here. It's to deflect the electron in a different direction. So if I take my ball here and I launch it against there, you can see it deflects it downward, just like we see the picture here. So the magnetic field, you know, acts as if there were, say, a plate of like these things, which act to deflect the ball into a different direction. Now, this captures one of the most vexing uh, problems with the magnetic field, which is that when you reverse the, the direction of the electron, it also re uh, changes to the opposite way, the direction of the force. So we saw that when we had the ball here, it would go down this way. But now when I go in the opposite way, now it goes this way. Similarly, if we had set up this uh, magnetic field and we approached it from the bottom, we would see that you know it deflects to the left. But if we take the opposite direction, we see it deflects to the right. So this is a very hard to model property of the magnetic field, but this simple diagonal piece of, of cardboard in my box models it perfectly. And uh, uh, another interesting aspect would be, for example, perhaps you've heard that, you know, it doesn't matter what's moving, whether it's the box move, whether it's the magnetic field moving, or whether it's the uh, electron moving. So we've demonstrated this using the electron moving, but, you know, suppose we did try to do that instead, we model just the box moving, okay? So I get my electron to sit there, and now I just move the box. And, uh, Hopefully what you're trying to see here is that you have to keep it moving constantly is that you can see the electron is still deflected when the when the magnetic field comes so this this kind of answers the question why is it that uh, if you have a wire and you have a magnetic field uh, you can either choose to move the wire which would be moving the electrons or you can move the the magnetic field which is the box to cause it to cause the the same exact same deflections to occur now another interesting aspect you might want to consider here is that suppose you know i have this and i i have lots of electrons going this way so i shoot a lot of electrons this way and they're hitting you know the limits of my box so you can figure that, that if I did a lot of these, I would get a lot of things, and actually the box would start moving, right? You'd actually see the box, you know, being attracted in this direction. And that is actually the nature of the magnetic force that we feel in things like magnets. So when we've got two magnets, you know, I've got some magnets here, and we see that, you know, those attract. You know, what's, what is going on to cause that? And what's happening is that we have these electrons and they're hitting the physical limit of, the, of its container, like the magnet here. And it's actually pushing it towards the source of the magnetic field. So what we are feeling when we, in the magnet is actually all that, all of these electrons, all these electrons suddenly, they were going this way straight, but then they decide to curve because they're in the magnetic field. And it's causing the magnet to just be dragged this direction from being hit, basically from the outside. So it's not actually even an attraction. It's actually being pushed from the outside the, the, uh, towards the other magnet. So that is 
actually how you can think of how does magnetic fields work. So, uh, but that is my uh, analogy. So if you have any comments, please let me know.